here at Izumi. It's located in Essential Park. Let's check it out. It's a specialty restaurant where you'll have to pay extra, obviously. But I've never been here before. Is it worth the upcharge? Let's check it out. Here's the vibe of the restaurant. Hibachi bar right here. The table has the hibachi and we have the sushi bar over here. Let's take a look at the sushi bar. There's a sushi bar here. Here's the sashimi. So the option is $40 for one small plate. These are the small plates. Tofu ginger salad, crispy rice, spicy tuna. Can I do that? Shimmer firecracker spring roll is good. They have poke bowl, which is good. Champagne lobster bowl. She selection assorted as sashimi. The menu looks great. The vibe check, 10 out of 10. Got a little free edamame for appetizers. Yummy. This is just sea salt. Shrimp and veggie tempura. The small plates. Let's go. Crispy rice, spicy tuna. Oh yeah, it's a jalapeno on the top. So it's rice at the bottom. Nice crispy rice, spicy tuna. Another small plate. Let's dig it. The tempura is good. The batter is super crispy. Super hot though. It's a very thick batter. I would say 8 out of 10. All right, now let's try the crispy rice spicy tuna with a little jalapeno on the top. This one is so good. 10 out of 10. The rice is very crispy. Crispy sushi rice. Jalapeno is kind of spicy. The tuna is amazing. Well seasoned. 10 out of 10. Definitely pick that. Choose that one. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Mm. Okay, ball. Kashimi. Kashimi. Yaki udon and ramen is coming. Dynamite. I forgot what this is. What is this? The maki. And here is the sashimi platter. The sashimi platter. Kind of small. Okay. Here is the poke bowl. The poke bowl looks so good. Yummy. Okay, dig in. The dynamite rose. Okay, I'm going to try this. Here is the dynamite rose. I, I can't taste anything, so. I'm going to check for poke. It looks crunchy. Oh. Dynamite row, 10 out of 10. Very nuanced to texture and the flavor. Let's try this one. What is this one? Tofukumaki? There we go. I can never pronounce this one. Looks so good. Very fat. Oh, the sauce is the same? It's crispy on the outside. Brendan said, oh, the sauce tastes very similar. They're the exact same. You can tell. You just look at them. It's the same yellow, yellow, yellow. Black, black, black. You know, the little... This one, I need to put a little bit of wasabi on top to add a little spice and a little ginger because this one tastes very fishy. Very fishy taste. Oops. Crunchy, crispy shrimp spring rolls. Oh. Interesting. So each spring roll is a shrimp. Number three. Yeah, this one is my least favorite. I haven't tried this one. I'm going to try this one. Now, Brandon said this is number two. So it's a little hard to eat. It's like super tall. What is it called again? Lobster? This is the lobster roll thing. Crispy lobster roll. Pretty good. Yeah, number two. Definitely number one, dynamite roll. Number two, lobster. Number three. Now let's try the sashimi and the poke. Super hot. Dip into the sauce. It's like that sweet, spicy, sweet chili sauce type of thing. Okay, let's try it. Or sweet and sour sauce. Shrimp and the cream cheese. It's so hot. With cream cheese. Kind of fun. Cream cheese, shrimp, spring rolls. This one, 9 out of 10. Recommend. 
creamy, meaty, hot, and temperature and crispy. Brandon said the fish in this thing tastes way better than the poke bowl places in San Antonio. Yeah. We're gonna get a little bit of wasabi. Good enough? Let's take a try. The sauce is so good too. Flavor is super good. Like just look how big the chunks of meat. Like the fish is so big. It's a huge chunk. They give you a lot of fish in the poke bowl. This is highly recommend. Yeah, it's really good. And a lot of good flavor too. And the avocado, the rice, the seaweed. Brandon said this poke bowl is the best value. Get the poke bowl. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Tuna salmon with that. Yeah, it tastes good. Fish is real fresh. Try this. Let me try this, Sam. Brandon's uh, the sashimi is super fresh. So let's try this out. The wasabi actually tastes pretty fresh too. The wasabi tastes better than like the sushi restaurant in San Antonio. Because a little bit went a long way. The sushi restaurant in San Antonio, I could just eat it on its own. This one actually... Sh <laughs> All right, let's try the sashimi. Super meaty. The texture is so good. Flavor is also good. Definitely get the poke bowl and the sashimi platter. Those two, highly recommend. The best, really. What is it called? Yaki udon. Yaki udon. So it's a udon stir fry with a choice of protein. We chose the chicken. It's so good. Look how much food we got with the a la carte package. That's amazing. Yeah, we didn't even get the dessert yet. Yeah, I know. So here's the udon with chicken. Let's stick it. All right, let's try the udon noodles. The udon stir fry. Yaki udon. Udon. Let's try it. Really good sauce flavor. Really good texture of the udon noodle. This one, I will give it 9 out of 10. Chicken is very tender. Nice teriyaki flavor. Sweet and savory. 9 out of 10. Dessert. Here are the three mochi ice cream. Three flavors: green tea, mango, and strawberries. And we got the green tea ice cream. Let's begin. The green tea ice cream tastes pretty good. It's not as good as some of the green tea ice cream that I had at the like matcha specialty places. They definitely taste way better than this. On a scale one to ten, I would give it maybe six to seven out of ten, but it's still pretty good. The mochi ice cream though, better than the Trader Joe's frozen ones for sure. Like the mochi wrapper is super good. The green tea flavor of the mochi ice cream is not super green tea. It's not super strong matcha flavor, but the other flavors are super good, especially the strawberry. It's my husband's favorite. So he gave me uh, half of the mango and a half of the um, green tea. But overall, the desserts are pretty good. It's pretty light and it's better quality mochi ice cream. Alrighty, overall, what do you think? That's good. I'd eat here again. I think it's actually one of the better specialty restaurants here just because like you can't eat sushi anywhere else like for the other food yeah like you can't eat as good as a quality but like you know you still can eat like the italian food you can still eat the johnny rocket burgers but this one you really can't you can only have sushi like a sashimi is like this in this restaurant so overall i think we had a great time it's definitely worth it at least to try it if you're a sushi lover try it out that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, and also check out my other Royal Caribbean content in this video in this channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.